I think all of us, you know, we have something to be proud of. Even if the accomplishment is small, it doesn't matter. If you're proud of it, I, I think it's worth sharing. Just something even as simple as getting out of bed in the morning to face the world. I think that's something to be proud of. Yeah. Right. It's very sometimes we don't even think about that. Like life is freaking hard, right? We all have stuff we're dealing with. We all have challenges. We all have issues. We all have, you know, things that um, in our life that's going on and maybe not always going our way. The very fact that you're willing to get out of bed and to go and just deal with it head on. And face it. Yeah, like that to me, that, that deserves respect. Welcome to the Magnetic Mismatch Show. This is Linda. And this is Will, and I'm uh, wearing a Hawaiian shirt today. A tropical shirt. Tropical shirt. I guess it's not a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, it has um, hula <laughs> girls and yeah. palm, palm trees. trees. I guess it's hot Hawaiian. It's yeah. a Hawaiian-ish, Hawaiian-themed shirt. How about that? And you did wear that in Hawaii. I did, so that's why. It's because I miss Hawaii. I miss traveling. Yeah. I wish we were out of the house, but... <laughs> this it's is okay. this is my consolation prize. <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll make some mai tais later or something. <laughs> some tropical drinks. Um, and I've been just looking at a lot of traveling pictures lately. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We'll get there again. We will. We at will. some point, we're gonna get back to that state, you know, and and we're gonna appreciate it a lot more. A lot more. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's get into our topic today. So, we're talking about why why are we always so hard on ourselves? Ooh, I think therapy time. <laughs> I think that's um a topic that everyone can relate to. Yeah. Right? Because uh, I think just going through our day to day life um it's hard not to see um uh, media or social media um throw this image of what success is supposed to be yeah and um you know especially with social media it makes it everything seems to be instant instant right. gratification this person got rich overnight. Uh, <laughs> like they just out of, appeared out of nowhere and they're like a millionaire, multimillionaire. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> or I'm not saying that that can't happen. Of course, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of businesses can take off in a couple of months, right? Sure, yeah. And it happens. Um, but It's not the norm. But it's really not the norm. But yeah. social media makes you feel like that is the norm. Right. Um, they don't show the sometimes years of hard work late nights rejection failures and all those ugly things that happened before they got to the success absolutely um we, we were talking about it earlier but like one of my favorite like memes about this topic is the one about the icebergs you know where they show um the tip of the iceberg is what everybody sees. And that's usually like when someone's already accomplished something great or they've done something, right? And everyone's like congratulating, acknowledging them. And it's like, wow, that's so cool. But what they don't see is everything else below the the, the tip of the iceberg, which is underwater. Um, and that represents more than 90%. And that's usually all those things that you said. Hard work, the stress, the late nights, the... Uh, sacrifices, the struggles, the failures, right? That all led up to the success. But that's the false expectation I think that sometimes we have. And so because if we're not where we want to be yet, then it makes us feel like we're a failure or we're, we're very critical of ourselves, right? Yeah. yeah, and it's so easy to be. Yeah, and that's that's really harmful, I think, you yeah, know, to, to you as a, to your self-esteem, Right. Yeah. I mean, I understand some people, you know, like myself included um, during uh, earlier parts of my career yeah. or before or when I was building my career. Yeah. You're on your uh, path. Yeah. I was using that as a, a drive yeah. to make it right to get there. But I felt like at some point 
or not even at some point. I don't think that was the best way. It's not the healthiest That's way. That's <laughs> not really. It wasn't the healthiest way because, you know, at some point, um, you, it kind of crashes and burns. It takes a toll on you, too. It takes a toll on you. And no matter what I, I did or, you know, what I accomplished, I always felt like I was behind in life. I wasn't uh, moving fast enough. You know, because I kept telling myself, like, oh, you're a failure, you're this, you're that. But I never um, gave myself credit. Hey, Linda, good job for, you know, doing this or that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at some point, subconsciously, you you kind of get tired of you. Yeah, you self-sabotage too, right? Yeah. Even if you are making progress, even if you are, you know, on the right path, you're doing the right things, and if you're not giving yourself time to celebrate those small victories or the progress that you're making what happens is in your mind you're just like moving you're doing things without any sort of positive reinforcement right yeah. to back it up yeah and it kind of makes you think like what's the point you know it's easy to lose track of why you're doing something it's also like very easy to um self-sabotage like i said where you might start doing things per without even knowing, like to sabotage yourself from success. Yeah. I think it's very it's important to just celebrate small victories. Yeah. Right. Because as long as you're taking step forward, that's a win. That's a win. Yeah. No matter how small these successes are. Mm -hmm. And I think another um, very important lesson to learn as well um, is that. I feel like, you know, society, they make you feel almost shameful for failing. Mm. Or, you know, you feel like less worthy because you, you failed or, you know, you don't want to tell people about your failures. We're ashamed of our failures. Yeah, we, we, don't want to, we don't want people to see us fail. Because you don't see an Instagram page <laughs> all, all the things I've right, done, right, right. all the failures that happened to me. All the times <laughs> I messed up because I look dumb or I look ridiculous because I didn't do something correctly. Yeah. Or they only show you the good stuff. Or things didn't go the way uh, I wanted it to. But see, the thing is that I think just learning from your mistakes, you know, it's a win. That's beautiful and getting, in itself. Right? Getting up from your your failure, get you know, because it, it takes a lot of strength to um to fall get down up and get back yeah, up. Yeah, fall down, get back up, and try again. Yeah, I think it's easy when things are going well, right? Anybody can continue to do that. The hard part is when things go wrong, because they will go wrong, right? Um, <laughs> at some point, <laughs> at yeah. some point, things aren't always going to be rainbows and butterflies. Yeah. So when things go wrong. Are you strong enough mentally, right, um, emotionally to pick yourself back up, dust it off, right, and then just keep going? That's yeah. grit. Yeah. And that's how you, you know, really sh reveal your your character, right, of mm -hmm. who you are. Yeah. Because I feel like if you keep beating yourself down and you're just hard on yourself. Yeah. Um, I mean... That I think being hard on yourself and having high standards for yourself is completely different. It's a good thing, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like sometimes when you're just overly criticizing yourself over and over, yeah, um, you you beat up your self esteem. Yeah, it's bad on your self image and your internal dialogue, right? What you tell yourself is who you become. Yeah. If you keep saying like I'm worthless or I suck or that's you know, how you behave. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna mirror that um, in your actions, right? Yeah, which is crazy. And and sometimes like I know that that was something like before. It's like you would like for me, I didn't think I was good enough at what I did. I was just like, oh, you know, like if I try something, it's like, what if people find out? Like I'm not that really the that imposter good. syndrome. Yeah, you feel like an yeah. imposter, but then it's like, wait a minute, that's not true. It's just all in your head, right? Mm -hmm. you're telling yourself that meanwhile other people are like you're you're doing a great job like yeah you know the people that you're working with they're serving like they're giving you the response you're the you're you're just choosing not to hear them sometimes mm -hmm. right because you're so critical on yourself you're only looking for the negative stuff you know yeah yeah and i think it's who you surround yourself with too sure 
right? If are they building you up? Yeah, and are they、um, super critical of themselves、mm. as well? That's true. You feed on each other. Yeah, because I mean, there are some you know professions or where they're very、um, hard on th- themselves. Yeah,、right? very harsh. Because that's that's kind of how the the system was built. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But it's so easy to just kind of fall into that as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think what helps is just being able to recognize that this to that there's a balance. I think you hit it on the head earlier, where having high standards is a good thing. Having a little bit of fear, I think it's a good thing too, because、mm-hmm. that can drive you. But when you let it overcome your all the positive things, then it becomes destructive. Yeah, you know. But having high standards doesn't mean that you beat yourself up. That's、either. true. Yeah. Right, because it could, it's just you know that's what you, you expect want a lot out of yourself. Out of yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's true. You know, when you fail,、um, I think what are、important. you saying to yourself? Yeah, what are you saying to yourself? Like, are you? Objective and trying to figure out why you're feeling, or you're just blaming it on yourself, because <laughs> it's so easy to、yeah. just just do that. Right. It's to get mad at yourself. Why aren't you smarter? Why aren't you this? Why aren't you that? <laughs> yeah. Whereas sometimes when you fail, it's because it's not even your fault. Yeah. It could be that the, you know, the technology doesn't exist yet. The timing's not right. The timing or... is not right. Someone screws you over. Yeah. Yeah, could be several things. You know, a lot, a lot of things can happen. It's not just you. Yeah. But I feel like as long as you、um, own your mistakes or own your failure, learn from it, then it becomes a lesson. And you become stronger. You become stronger. Yeah. Stronger, smarter. You'll make better choices down the road, so on and so forth. Wiser. Yeah. Yeah. And I think another thing is,、um, I don't know about you, but you know, growing up. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or not, but I felt like、uh, my parents were always like, "Oh, don't show off, you know, don't boast yourself." I think there's a. If it depends on the the intention, right?、Mm-hmm. If you're so excited about your accomplishment, I think it's good to share that, but don't just、um, you know just talk about your yourself just to make others feel bad or to get validation. Yeah, or、people. to get validation. Yeah. It could be simply be you know how much work you put in, you know how much you sacrifice to do something, and you're really proud of being able to do it.、Mm-hmm. And that should be that's that's worthy of being shared with other people because that could be a positive thing, right? Yeah. It can inspire people. Maybe somebody's in your shoes that. Um, is thinking about doing the same thing, but they're having a lot of self doubt, and hearing your story could inspire them. Yeah, could motivate them. Could be that one thing that pushes them to actually take action、mm-hmm. and get them fired up. Maybe they'll do accomplish the same. Yeah, yeah. Or even if the accomplishment is small, it doesn't matter. If you're proud of it, I I think it's worth sharing. Absolutely, and it, it doesn't always have to be related to like some. You know, monetary thing, or you know, something that you think other people would would say. Oh, that's that's accomplishment. That's an accomplishment. I mean, like you said, it's what do you view as an accomplishment? What are you proud of? Yeah, that you want to share. You know, like some people I've seen, like I think it's great. It's like I raised two beautiful kids, and they have they're great human beings. That's a huge accomplishment. That's huge.、Right? You know,、um, that's not easy to do. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's not always like I made so much money, or you know,、yeah. um, I、uh, opened this business or that. You know, it doesn't always have to be economics. Yeah, could be I have a an amazing relationship with my family. I'm very proud of that because those things can be taken for granted. You know,、mm-hmm. and I think what helps to kind of keep you on track and not. Beat yourself up too much, right? And being too critical on yourself is some of the things that we've done, right? That we've learned, which is giving ourselves reminders every day of the progress that we've made and some of the things we are proud of. Yeah. So usually at the end of the day and、um, the first thing in the morning when we do our grateful journal, you know, Will and I we like to ask each other,、well, what's the one thing that you're proud of? You know, this morning or yesterday, or you know, the day before, whatever you're proud of, just 
say it. And I think the more times you say it and hear it, you start to believe it. <laughs> yeah. Almost. You're validating yeah, you're to validating yourself. you're validating yeah. yourself that, hey, you're right. It's not easy. I, I mean, I, I was telling you just something even as simple as getting out of bed in the morning to face the world. I think that's something to be proud of. Yeah. Right. It's very sometimes we don't even think about that. Like life is freaking hard. Right. We all have stuff we're dealing with. We all have challenges. We all have issues. We all have, you know, things that um, in our life that's going on and maybe not always going our way. The very fact that you're willing to get out of bed and to go and just deal with it head on. And face it. Yeah. Like that to me, that that deserves respect. Yeah. Because you could look at it as the other side, right? The You could make the decision instead of getting out of bed. You could just stay in bed all day. Yeah. And lounge. Lounge and wallow and yeah. feel sorry for yourself. And, you know, sometimes you might sometimes need to do that. Do that. <laughs> sometimes, right? Yeah. For a period of time. But don't let that become a habit or don't let it become something that you let linger for, you know, weeks or months or hopefully not years, right? Yeah. Because then that becomes your identity. I think all of us, you know, we have something to be proud of. Absolutely. Right? But you got to tell yourself you that stuff. You have to tell yourself that. You really do because you don't yeah. think of it as an accomplishment. And yet you have to write it out, say it, right? And it's even more powerful when you have a, another person to share it with. Yeah. Yeah. And we did um, another exercise where uh, we typed out all of our accomplishments. Yes. And over the past decade. Yeah. Over the past decade. And we posted that on the the mirror, the wall. Well, the in wall the, next to the mirror. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Um, and, you know, every morning when you, you look at yourself, you know, <laughs> it's like, Oh, that's my identity. You know, all of these positive things and all of these accomplishments. That's that's me. I I did that. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. very validating. Right. And that's that's very personal and unique to each person because um, you know, before we started this podcast, I was talking like I, I was telling you, like in my family, my immediate family, I'm the first one to go to college and graduate, mm -hmm. um, you know, because my parents are immigrant parents, right? And uh, I'm the oldest sibling. So going to college, graduating, that's a big deal in our family. Um, being the first one to do it, like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But even though nowadays, it's like, oh, you have a, an undergrad degree, right? Uh, that's pretty, it's more common, but it shouldn't take away from the fact that it's a still, to me, a pretty awesome accomplishment because still not everybody can do it no yeah. you know what i mean it took a lot of it takes a lot of work and sacrifice yeah definitely and i know that when we were going through writing our list it was kind of hard in the beginning too to think of stuff because even then we were kind of resistant like what am i proud of you know like <laughs> Oh, that's not that. That's not worthy of being on the list. Yeah, or... I think sometimes we <laughs> discount our Ourself. accomplishments. Yeah, which we shouldn't. We should no celebrate every little victory. Yeah, and what was funny is once we start started getting the ball rolling, then I was like, <laughs> Yeah, it felt kind of nice. It felt really nice. I'm like, Hey, babe, I'm uh, actually running out of space. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> and we were helping each other too. Yeah. Like, oh, how about, you know, when you did that? Or That's true. Yeah. I think that's what's nice too. It's like someone that knows you well, um, they can point out things that maybe you don't even over, that you've overlooked because. To you, it's normal. To you, it's not a big deal. But to somebody else, they're like, dude, that's amazing. Like the fact that you did this or that you got yourself out of poverty or that you got yourself a job, right? That is uh, that you're passionate about or mm -hmm. whatever, right? You made a lifestyle change. You you started becoming healthier, right? There's so many examples, you know, but I think if you don't take the time to actually write those things out and to openly talk about it and remind yourself every day, it is so easy to be critical on ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's the other direction, you know, that's not the one you want you want to take. Yeah. Do you want to tell me more about accomplishments? No. Not really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I think you made a really good point too about, about like 
the I don't know if it is a cultural thing or if it's something like societal, but it's like, yeah, if you're if you talk about what you've accomplished, it is looked at in a negative way. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you're showing off. Yeah, stop being you, a show off. Yeah, even if, even though you don't mean stop to bragging. Yeah, come off that way. Mm-hmm. You're just. You're just excited, yeah, and it kind of kills your your bud too. <laughs> your buzz, yeah, your, your buzz. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where where do you draw the line though? Because I do think that there are some uh, some times and moments where it can be a little much, right? It can be a little boastful or yeah. I mean, I don't and, I don't mean to you know like rubbing you, it in people's rubbing faces, rubbing in people's or, face, or talking about yourself only. <laughs> being conceited yeah but it's good to you know once in a while share your excitement acknowledge your accomplishment yeah make it real yeah yeah put it out there Mm -hmm. yeah and you never know who that message could inspire or touch right but i think it goes the other way around too i think if you're struggling or you know you've gone through a failure it's good to talk about it and share it with the universe be open about it be open about it because you never know um, who can help you. Yeah. Right. If people don't know that you're struggling, how could they help you? That's a very good point. It's very difficult because I think we all tend to hide our weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Right. We don't. We don't display it. <laughs> Look, I suck at this, or you know, um, watch me fail. <laughs> like, why? Why would you <laughs> want to do that? It's not in our human nature, right? Yeah. But like you said, I think um, sometimes when you when you just you don't make it a big deal. Look, I'm I'm not great at this, and someone can be like, oh wow, I want to help this person, you know, because you're you're vulnerable, you know, yeah. you're acknowledging your weakness, and just because it's a weakness at that moment. That doesn't mean it's going to be a weakness that defines you forever. It doesn't mean that you can't improve on it. Either. Exactly. Yeah, right. It's not the end of the world. No. and no. But the thing is, you cannot address that weakness if you don't first acknowledge that it exists. Mm-hmm. Right? And don't beat yourself up <laughs> either. Yeah. I'm not yeah. good at this. Why am I not good at this? Yeah. You know, it's like we, we yeah. kind of go down that. That vis- spiral. Yeah, that spiral. Yeah. yeah. Not good. <laughs> Slippery slope. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say is um, maybe something that you feel that you've always been very hard on yourself about? And how did you overcome that over time as you've gotten older? Well, I was there something that you were that you can think of like like that? Like, well, I mean, it's not a secret because I've mentioned it many times before, <laughs> right? I always feel like I'm behind in life or I did. Yeah. Which was, again, from the outside looking in, I'm always kind of like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? But I, I get it. That's why we're talking about this, right? Because you can view yourself differently than how the world views you. Yeah. And it kind of, and you know, when you, you're like in this bubble, you, you're, you're distorted from reality. Yeah. Too. And then... You know, I, I think it's like um, when you're in a group of so many people that are successful or, you know, doing really well for themselves, it's yeah. like it's hard to not feel like, okay, I, I can't just fall into their shadows. Ah, I see. You know? um, There's like a pressure, an added pressure of I have to kind of keep up, right, with I everybody else. I have to else. kind of keep up, yeah. But then at the end of the day, I have to realize, well, you've you've gone – you know, pretty far in life um, that you don't, uh, that I didn't acknowledge myself that I, or given myself credit for. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I have to realize that, you know, it, it, I had to go through a lot of obstacles mm-hmm. to get to, you know, where I am today, right? Um, like, you know, like yourself, you yeah. know, you grew up with an immigrant fa- um, parent. Yeah. But I was the immigrant. Yeah, you came right. to this country as a kid, like yeah, I, pretty I, young. Yeah, I came to this country as a kid. So, you know, there's different types of pressure because, you know, there's a, a language barrier, right, that I had to overcome. Um, you know, my parents didn't really know the, they wanted me to go to college, obviously, because yeah. right? that's why they, they came to the U.S. is to give us opportunities, but they didn't know how to navigate the system. 
that was something you know I had to figure out on my own. And then, you know, they wanted me to go to grad school, but they they don't know how. All they can do is just, you know, voice their wishes for me. You yeah, know? to but, show support for you. Yeah, cheer then, you on. Yeah, my biggest cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you know you kind of have to do it yourself, and you know I have to acknowledge that for me to get to where I am today, you know, there were so many things I had to do to get to this moment. And there's so many um, obstacles and hard work that I put in, you know, late nights, early mornings. Yeah, a lot of sacrifice, yeah. social things that you gave a lot. up. I didn't do get to experience like the whole like college dorm experience. and all that oh i know i wish i i wish i did do the whole dorming yeah <laughs> <laughs> you laugh because you're like you're not going to survive that but i don't know <laughs> you're a germaphobe <laughs> <laughs> i am a, i am a germaphobe you would yeah i don't know i, I would love to see that though that would be a great uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah even with you i freak out when i see like hair or something yeah I, yeah, you know what? I might not survive. <laughs> that yeah. could have that could have ended my career. <laughs> uh, no, I, I see. I see where you're saying though. It's it is because I think especially when you get to when you start accomplishing some of the things you set out for, you you tend to forget the journey and yeah. the struggles that brought you to where you are. Like for example, like. You know, right now, I'm very grateful and thankful that I've got an established business, right? That Mm -hmm. that's very stable, uh, great clients, you know, um, all this stuff, right? And it's very nice because now it's like I feel like things are smooth and going great, right? But I I forget and I have to remind myself, man, when I started this thing, like. 10 plus years ago a decade ago and again it took a decade to get to this point but a decade ago um you know i started in the business not knowing anything yeah right and Mm -hmm. working like 60 to 80 plus hours and you saw that too you were part of that experience and you know so many rejections so many times that you're kind of doubting yourself and your abilities is this the right thing am i doing the right thing am i wasting my time um, you know, so many failures where things didn't go the way that I wanted. Um, so many setbacks, right? You you make some progress, then you get knocked right back down. You oh, know, yeah, I five feel that. five steps back. Yeah, and then you have to climb back again. Um, so it's just like this whole roller coaster. And I remember like so many sleepless nights, right? Just you're worried about your business or, um survival or just you know am i good enough to do this and then you start questioning you question yourself, yourself right am i cut out for this is this yeah exactly is it me is yeah. it the 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 path i'm taking um should i just go do something else right there's yeah. so many of those things that run through your mind and i i forget like now right now i forget all those feelings because i don't know if i suppressed it or it's just because it's so long ago that I had that those feelings, but those were very real. And when we don't remember those or we don't remind ourselves, hey, I did struggle. I did pay my dues. I did do a lot of things. I sacrificed a lot. I mean, there were f- the first five years, I didn't really have a social life, mm-hmm. you know, really. And but again, I, d- I didn't think of it. And when you're in it, you don't think about it either. Yeah. Right. You don't give yourself that. um out that uh, overview right so once you get to where you want to go at least to a certain degree then it's like remind yourself hey you are worthy you are deserving of what you have because you did put in the work yeah and you should keep growing and keep going from there right yeah but don't let that self-doubt and that um critical uh, view of yourself stop you from moving forward because sometimes it can be crippling too you know what I mean yeah like where you're so harsh on yourself you don't give yourself any credit that it's kind of like um you stop wanting to move forward yeah just to, to keep trying you know yeah 
but I don't know. It's it's you find out a lot about yourself. I think when you ask yourself this question, it's like why are why am I so hard on myself, and what can I do better, you know, to make sure that、um, I'm not. So critical to the point. I mean, you can't go the opposite either, right? It's like you let yourself off think, easy too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm amazing. Be very objective, right? <laughs> yeah, but how though? Sometimes it's、um, hard when it, when it's you, right? Yeah, I think you need to be objective to like ask people. Yeah, ask people.、Um, you know, I think a good question to ask one of your close family and friends is, "Do you think I'm moving towards my?" Potential,、mm. right? And if they they tell you, you know, they but, hesitate. They're like,、oh. uh, but no, pick <laughs> someone that's willing to tell you the truth. Someone that's real. Yeah, it's not gonna sugarcoat the, you know, the the answer, right? Oh man, that's no fun. <laughs> I want to go to the people that tell me what I want to hear. Come、uh, on now, you're with the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, ask them. Do you think you know? I'm moving towards at least the direction of my true potential, and if the answer is like no, I think you know you're cutting yourself short.、Mm. Um, you know, I think you can try a little harder, right? Ooh, that's tough to hear. But sometimes you need to hear it. That、Or、could be the fire. You know,、right? it's weird. Sometimes,、um, you know, you'd be surprised. Someone can tell you, yeah, you know, I think. You've done amazing for yourself,、mm-hmm. you know, and、um, the way you live your life is very inspiring. How、yeah. you know you always want to grow, continue to grow, yeah, even though、yeah. you're successful. Like that's good to hear too. And you、it's、might valid- not even feel that way about yeah, yourself. Yeah,、right? that could be very validating. Yeah, not that you need it. Yeah, but it allows you to get an a, an objective view, right? Yeah, or sometimes I think if you you know you're shy and you don't want to ask、um, someone. Just be honest with yourself. Write it down. <laughs> you know, like, am I where I want to be? And if the answer is no, have I taken the steps to even move towards the right vicinity? Yeah. Right. And again, I think that exercise of us like listing out what are you force yourself to really write down what are you proud of? Yeah. Because I'll I'll tell you like like we I was saying earlier like. In the beginning of creating that list, it was hard, like, because、yeah. we're not used to like writing down what are we, what are you proud of, what do you, you know, what、mm-hmm. do, you, what would you like to share with other people, yeah, that you've done, yeah, and maybe sometimes even going through that, I'm kind of like, oh man, I think I need to do more, you know, I don't know if you felt that way, yeah, or like I'm like, oh, I forgot about that, yeah, I forgot about that pain, I forgot about those sleepless nights,、yeah. I'm just, you know, because it's so. It's so easy just to, you know,、um, kind of get comfortable with where you're at, and then forget、right. what what you had to sacrifice to to get there. I think it puts things in perspective, right? Kind of like at the beginning when we we're talking about how、uh, we expect instant gratification. It reminds you, look, nothing happens overnight. Nothing worthwhile, at least.、Mm-hmm. And it might motivate you and help calm you down, like. As fast as you want to go right now to get to the next stage、um, or next goal, it's okay. Look, enjoy the process. Right, it's gonna take some time. Be patient. I'm saying this to myself too, by the way. <laughs> I know you're looking at me. I'm like, I know we recently started some new like projects, and, and I'm like, oh, but I'm not getting this result, even though the results have been really good so far. Especially <laughs> like you telling me, it's like. What are you talking about? And I'm like, no, no, I have to get this. Oh, it didn't, you know, it fell short by this, and and it's like, well, this is more than I've ever done, right?、Yeah. In certain things, yeah. And that in itself is something to be celebrated, not like, you know, yeah, talked down on. But like I was saying, it can't be so extreme on the other side either, where you're delusional, right? <laughs> I'm amazing. I'm sitting on the couch eating potato chips and watching Netflix all day, and it's like, yeah, I'm like so great. I have so much potential, and this and that, right? It's like and you haven't done it, and you haven't done anything.、It. Yeah, <laughs> see, that, I mean, the potential could be there, but it, you haven't、yeah. unlocked it. Yeah, the potential doesn't mean anything <laughs>、yeah. though. Just because you have potential, there's a lot of people that have potential, but if you don't do anything with it, it it means absolutely nothing.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So,、um, all right. Well, what's、uh, is there any takeaways you think that can help、um, our listeners or 
you know, anybody that's kind of tuning in to us today? Yeah, I think uh, you should take out a little bit of time every day to remind yourself that you are, you know, worthy and that you've made, you know, and celebrate your accomplishments. Yeah, right? and that you've made progress. Yeah. No matter where you're at, right, in life. Or, again, you got out of bed, right, this morning or today. And yeah. you're you're trying, you're doing stuff, hopefully. And if you're not, then that's a good reminder, too. Get back on it. Yeah, and just to remind yourself, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, don't stop. As long as you're moving. Forward. Forward. Yeah. Sometimes you'll fall back and yeah. you'll get, you know, well, as get long back as on you're again. moving, right, yeah, towards the helps. right direction. Yes. Overall. Yes. Um, you will get to your goals. <laughs> right. A little bit at a time. Yeah. Consistency is the key. Yeah. Great. Well, we hope that that helped uh, you guys and we hope you enjoyed listening to us. Um, I thought it was a pretty fun topic, but yeah. yeah. Um, so you can find us on Apple Podcasts. Make sure if you enjoyed the episode, give us a five star rating and review. We're also on other platforms like Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, so on and so forth. I don't want to list everything. And make sure um, to tune in every Thursday. That's when we release our new episode. And please make sure to share our podcast uh, with your family and friends who you think uh, would enjoy our conversations, yeah. our podcast, and get yeah. entertainment from or even a lesson yeah. um, from. Please do share our podcast and make sure you uh, subscribe to our Instagram at, at magnetic, magnetic mismatch. mismatch. Oh, that was kind of cute. Was that that wasn't <laughs> coordinated, by the way. We said it at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> and um, of course we have a YouTube channel, the YouTubes. Yeah. At magnetic mismatch, also. And comment where you can. Yeah. All right, that would really help us out. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next uh, next week. Until then, bye. Bye. <laughs>